Here comes the sun for another day. We've got a beautiful setup out there and similar to yesterday, we'll likely see some increase in cloud cover later on into the afternoon, but nothing significant, partly sunny skies and it's flat out sunshiny to start off. The max track is clear. So all the active weather, as has been the case, is either moving off the coast. That's that same low that was hanging around Ohio and Pennsylvania yesterday. And you've got that stalled front across Texas, which continues to cause problems with severe weather potential there. They just cannot catch a break. So there's another severe threat stretching all the way from uh, southeastern Colorado, southwestern parts of Kansas, down through Oklahoma and Texas. And then includes Texas, Oklahoma, slivers of uh, Arkansas and western Louisiana there. And then shifts back towards Denver, or at least I should say eastern Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas heading into the end of the weekend. And speaking of severe weather, we did have a late confirmed tornado way down in Knox County, just to the east of Corbin, uh, north of Siler there. And it was only on the ground for a minute, but it had 90 mile per hour winds in the F1 and uh, did cause a little bit of damage. So here we go. We've got a couple of days off before we see a rise in active weather. Don't have to worry too much about severe weather this weekend, but it will be a complicating factor because there's so much going on. You've got high school graduation starting today. You've got uh, Railbird happening this weekend. You've got the um, baseball tourney out, of, uh, out in uh, Lexington. So uh, any active weather is a problem. And unfortunately, getting into the weekend, we're going to start to see that after a quiet Thursday, a beautiful Friday with that high in control. Here comes the moisture. Initially, cloud cover overnight into Friday morning. And then Friday morning, we could see some showers around. And then Friday afternoon, we'll likely see some scattered showers and thunder showers developing. So it's not going to be a washout of a weekend. It'll be hit or miss. But some of those cells could produce some heavy rain that we'll have to watch out for. And it's a chilly start to the day. It's 48 in Danville. It is 52 up in Flemingsburg. There are a number of upper 40s via the Kentucky Mezzanet. Monticello's in on it. And the dew point's very comfortable as well. Very dry air in place. So take full advantage of the next couple of days because once the showers and storms kick in, I'll have to deal with that Saturday and Sunday. And then next week, it's not going to be extreme heat. We'll go above our normal high of 80, get into the low to even mid 80s at times and also see the humidity climbing. So we'll get back into that warm, muggy air that's more typical for early June. But the future track continues to show this massive colder air trying to break off and drop south across the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes toward mid-June. So we'll keep an eye out for that as well. We may see a uh, brief cold snap trying to get going. Uh, but for right now, we're trending in the other direction as we wrap up May and head into June. We're cool, unseasonably cool. Mid-70s normally or high as 80. Some increasing cloud cover later on today, keeping those clouds puffing up. That's about the extent of it. Should be a beautiful afternoon. Upper 40s tonight, still kind of cool. Upper 70s tomorrow, getting closer to our normal high, hitting it Saturday. But we'll have those scattered shower and storm chances Saturday. And then for Sunday, lingering cloud cover, a few showers and storms. Uh, and then another rise in showers and storms. I think next week, especially toward the middle of the week, we may have a uh, more widespread and possibly stronger setup that we've got to deal with.